Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel up here at the EV charging station. Uh, I was going to bring you a cool video. I'm still going to bring you a cool video. It's just not going to be in the way I'd originally planned it. Thanks to uh, FedEx. Check this out right here. Yes, that's right. Uh, another tragic victim to FedEx. That wasn't the only tragic victim for the plans for this video, but look at this poor battery right here. This thing was laid out in the middle of the driveway and I uh, had parts to convert this card over. For everything for this battery, well, guess what? The battery was laid on top of all my conversion parts. So the conversion parts were smashed all to pieces. The battery, of course, I hope it's not damaged inside. I've not opened it up yet. So instead of having the battery put in and then conversion and all that testing today, I'm going to try to repair this battery. First, I'm gonna check and see if it's damaged, see how tough this thing is. So uh, we're gonna get us a battery tear down. That wasn't the plan, but you know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade out of it. So the Mosasar battery is a brand new release. This has only been on the market for two or three weeks. It is brand new to the game, brand new company. Uh, they named their, their battery brand after a prehistoric uh, sea predator. So we're gonna see how tough it is, see if it can take that big hit from FedEx and see if it's really uh, as tough as a dinosaur. So we're gonna check that out uh, in today's video. What you get with the battery, of course, you get you get a 105 amp hour, 48 volt battery. It's actually 51.2 volts because it's lithium iron phosphate, a five year warranty. This battery is very competitively priced. It rivals server rack batteries. So if you wanna use this for solar and off grid energy storage, uh, this should be a good choice for that too. We're gonna find out and open it up. Uh, it comes with a comprehensive user manual, a nice display. It's got Bluetooth and everything. The display's busted a million pieces. So we're just going to save that for another day. Uh, comes with a 20 amp charger, all your wiring harnesses, everything you need, charging cables, ready to go. So convert your golf cart from 48 volt lead acid to lithium and get massive range increase, massive power increase, thousands and thousands of cycles out of this battery. And it's not that much more than your lead acid packs to put in your golf cart. You can go up to 15,000 cycles on this battery if you do a 60% daily depth of discharge, which is not far fetched for lithium iron phosphate batteries. So, you know, that might be a good investment po point for you if you're for your golf cart or utility vehicle or your off-grid people that, you know, need energy storage. Nice compact package with a lot of energy. So the battery is very energy dense. Like I said, it only weighs 49 kilograms, a little bit over 107 pounds. So if you had a 48 volt cart with GC2 batteries, they weigh around 60 pounds a piece roughly. So if you have lead batteries, that's around 480 pounds of weight. So if you remove your lead, you get extended life here and you also save well over 300 pounds. If you include all the accessories, you're saving over 300 pounds of weight on your cart. So that give you faster acceleration right there too. So just another benefit to go to lithium on your golf cart. So enough jawing about the battery. I'm going to see if I can repair it. But first let's see if it powers up after being uh, beat on and damaged. So, oh, that's a shame. Such a pretty battery too. So first I'm gonna check and see if the pack still has voltage. See if anything is severely damaged inside before I open it up. So we'll check, see if we got any voltage in the pack. We got 52.8 volts, that's good. So let me get all the screws out of this cover and I'll pop it open. Don't do it to your own battery because they've got warranty tamper seals and stuff all over this battery. So if you do this on your own battery, you're gonna void your warranty. So I cannot recommend you do this on your own. So you'll get to see right here what your battery looks like if you pick up a Mosasaur. So, uh, and another thing, my buddy sent me this new Milwaukee screwdriver. Yeah, that thing's working good. Appreciate you, dude. All right, everybody, cross your fingers. Let's hope the, the cells are not damaged in there. Oh, yeah, it's bent spat. I can't even get the lid off of it. So, all right, hold on a second. I'm going to start on this corner right here where it's rolled up under. Let's we'll see if I can get this to straighten out, but it's right near these terminals. So i got to be real careful not to bend, bend hit these terminals right here too. So I'm going to try to pull this corner out so I can get it to pop up and get everything straightened enough to open it. And it's been under there pretty good. Now some thick metal. I mean, it, it, they must have just donkey smashed it or something. Let's see if that'll get it open right there. Oh yeah, making progress, making progress. Now these corners right here, I'm about to fix them after I get the lid off. So I got this corner where it's where it's openable. So. 
All right, well, nice gasket. But it is IP66 rated, so. And we work on this back cover. It's not wanting to, not wanting to play ball. So, well, there we go. All right, the cover is off. See how bad everything's beat up. Let me get a little closer look for you. A good pause about this battery. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, and I'm not even pulled the covers off yet. Looks like we got eight cells here. Our series continues over here to the other eight cells because it's 16 cell pack. Look, they've got metal compression around the cells to keep them in compression. And look, there's a gap around the sides of the case right there. So this hit on the side, it's actually dented the case right there too. I don't know if you can see that. A big old dent down the side of the case. I'm glad that since FedEx dropped it, I'm glad they dropped it on, on the side right here instead of this side. There's not as much spacing there. Uh, still, I was expecting to see just foam here. That is refreshing to see a nice metal compression case and it's bolted down. See the bolts down in there, bolted down to the case, uh, external case. So nice, 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 nice. Got a fuse link on the end on the positive side. Oh yeah. Let me uh, pop these covers off the cells right here and we'll see how the, the welds and stuff and the bus bars look. So the manufacturer is claiming 105 amp hour cells and it looks like we do in fact have 105 amp hour cells. That's 336 watt hours right there divided by 3.2 volts per cell that is 105 amp hours very nice another surprise i love it when i find good surprises in batteries um do you see what i see check it out right there see those little orange mats right there around the cell packs see all that that is self-heating i was not aware this unit had self-heating is a pleasant surprise i like being surprised in a good way so uh four gauge wire nice hydraulic connections everything is tied in here We've got sensors on each cell pack right here. There's a thermistor, NTC thermistor there, and then a NTC thermistor right there on that cell pack. So, you know, good quality. There's our Bluetooth antenna right there. Looks like it got knocked loose in the impact event. So I'll have to patch that back up as well while I'm in here, but here's the heating pad leads right here. So going, got heated cells. So shouldn't have no problems in the winter time. So when you charge it, uh, it actually activates the heating pads and warms the cells up. So if you're charging below 32 degrees, your cell pack is going to warm up first before it initiates charging. Nice. Get you a shot of this BMS in this thing. It is an absolute monster BMS in here. 200 amp BMS. So that shouldn't have any problems handling your golf cart loads. Solar and off-grid uses for this battery. I mean, that's a massive BMS for this unit. It's got a balancer on there and all that good stuff too. So uh, yeah excellent 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 nice nice battery the welds are very high quality check that out right there and that piece of sealant right there came off on the cover when i pulled it off so don't worry about that all everything is covered up all the balance lead look at the professional quality build even got cable management in here look at that that's just i mean that's nice now i'm just going to fix it right here get everything straightened back up uh, get it back together, and then once all the parts come in, we'll throw a load to it for real because I've got uh, Digi Dash and all that good stuff sitting there in here already. So we can monitor it, and then when I get my replacement screen, of course, we'll compare readings on their monitor that Mosasar provides to this battery to my digital display and everything I've already got built onto this cart. So all kinds of fun to be had. I got it straightened up fairly decent. Got that nice thick gasket, so I'm gonna let it ride right there. Now I gotta work on the top cover and get it fixed up. Should be in good shape. So here's the outer cover. That's why it was hanging up, trying to get it off. I don't know which corner took the hit or if they hit both corners with it. I don't know how that happened, but uh, you know, when you see your tracking information say that uh, you know your label's been defaced on your your outer packaging, well, that's probably why. Probably because they Hulk smashed it reason i keep showing you all this is just i can't believe this battery took that big of a hit and and still good on the inside look at that it busted the welds out in the corners of the cover man that's how hard that thing hit and basically the pack inside was unscathed that's just that's quality got all the bend out of it that i could using a block of wood and them turning tongs without splitting the the weld anymore where it was damaged so uh, one more step and i'll put it back together so the two corners where i worked on them and the one that had the split weld in the corner, I just threw some polyurethane sealant on there. 
So that's maintains its integrity, its seal integrity on those gaskets right there. So the cover should drop right back on. Before I put this final cover back in its resting spot right there, look, I didn't notice that a second ago, even the, the sides of the casing right here on the sails, check that out, there is a, there is a double layer. So there's a, a gap between the outer case and the actual sail pack. So if it did, did take a hit on the side of the case, there is a little bit of space right there. So it's got some give to it. So yeah, just uh, I'm just impressed with this so far. Perfect fit. And as far as this damage too, in case anybody's asking, of course, Mosasar will take care of you. If this happened to you if you purchased it. Mosasar gave me this battery to test and put it through its paces in this cart. So, you know, if that happened to you through Amazon or whatever, they got you back. So I got the Mosasar put back together. Uh, just a few little cosmetic blemishes on the outside. Internally, it is good to go. Uh, Mosasar, tougher than a dinosaur. That is a battle tank right there, I'll tell you. And a great value too. At time of filming, this battery is $14.99.99. I can highly recommend this battery so far. Check for Prime Day sales too. Probably have an even better deal on Prime Days. We'll be using this in a lot of videos. I'll show you the whole conversion process and everything on this cart right here too. Put it through its performance tests and all that. Get some range. All kinds of cool stuff coming up. So yeah, awesome battery. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Be safe.